the 28th of October, Tuesday afternoon. What specification of panels to put up on the roof? She's going around in circles. I mean, this is wasting time for me. Yeah, and there's a lot of pressure over here. And uh, you know, people, my my, my superiors are thinking that you know we, we're morons and we can't do anything and we're not pushing and etc etc. Et and that's not the case. I, how many conversations have we had on this? But I'm sick and tired of these so-called professionals who can't do their job properly. Uh, had this uh, cement it's already dry it's more than three four days yeah this is done this was done last friday yeah last friday it wasn't done uh, on thursday thursday friday i don't know i have no idea i didn't see it i wasn't here on okay. thursday all right i saw it on friday okay. so it's, it's all nicely done and it's all finished now it gives us this we can open this out now for seven days you need to it is dry but you can't open this for seven days the the uh, uh, as per the uh, what's called uh, underneath it. Oh, you showed me last time three days, but anyway. No, no, three days for this to dry. It'll, yeah. it'll be dry. It gives the strength, but you're not going to take the the, uh, the supports uh, off from one please. Because okay. you can't put this this bottom bit until the thing is out out, isn't it? What what bottom bit? The black bit that you have to put on top, and then yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah. But this, last this time way, in the video, you did. said three days. So okay, well maybe yeah. maybe it's, it's dry, but you don't take the you don't. It's just a precaution yeah. that you leave the supports in there for as long as you can. But seven days is you know for for supports. It dries. The concrete dries gains uh, you know, sort of 89 percent strength, yeah. strength in three days. That's yeah. I think you get that probably. I may have said that. But the, the, the actual supports you try to leave in for as long as you can. They're they're, they're not particularly uh, you know in, in anybody's way at the moment. You just had the conversation with the, the guy next door. Yeah. That we have patients on here. There's a, I have a uh, um, an email from Hussein. Yeah. Um, and uh, it was asked me, and I'm, I was in the middle of doing it because it's a detailed uh, it's a de de detailed reply which I'm going to do. However. Taking advantage of the fact that you've got this uh, um, uh, report being uh, recorded, yeah, sorry, yeah. what we have, I'll send us a very simple and a pertinent question: that wh uh, what's the um, uh, revised completion date? Revised completion date, I can't give. And why I can't give? It's not as if this is going to be weeks ahead. No, but what I can't give it is because they will want me to hold to a particular day or a date or a week. But it's dependent on other things. And what we're waiting for are two things. The two things this depends on. One is the council, but putting the drainage in. They put the drainage and the water. The water is not a problem. Supply water is not a problem. The drainage is. Why? When it rains, all that water has to go somewhere. Now that the roof and the outside of the building is running, there's a full water management system. Now all that water goes downstairs. Now it's a roof which is quite you know, a big in size. So it goes down, but the pump is not working. As we're waiting for the electric to come in, but the the uh, what 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 I really in order to do the work, as you can see, the walls are ready to be well, they are too tight. But now what we need to do is we need to marry up the floor. You can't do that when there's that much water going down. That water has to go somewhere. So waiting for that connection to be done, so that that pipe, as you know, is supposed to go outside it's only temporarily going into the sump. So what happens when the water comes down, it doesn't get pumped out, it all floods into the basement. That will ruin the work that we do. The insulation will get soaked and you can't do that. So we're waiting as soon as, I, you know, you saw this, this was done last week. Mm. So what we're waiting for is the council to install that um, uh, 
pandemic. It's imminent. They're supposed to just give us five days' notice, as I mentioned to the next door neighbor. So they, we're expecting a phone call or email from them. They'll say, okay, on uh, next week, this day, we're coming in to do it. And that's it. And they, the, the company, uh, are dealing with everything. Yeah, but I think the, the important thing I've realized as so well by is that you can't let the council take the process. You have to ring them even if they it doesn't them, make yeah. We, no, we, it, it, we, even if it doesn't make sense to ring. Okay, well maybe I think else needs to do that to satisfy themselves. No. Because you see, you've got to take my word for it. Simple as that. Yeah. Now what I don't do is if I speak to somebody one day, I, you, I was just on the phone to Brent Witherspoon yeah. from Chelma Heating. Yeah. Because right. you told me phone, Monday morning it was going to be solved. That woman is going to be back. I'm sorry? You told me Monday morning that woman is going to be yeah. back and you're going to solve it. No, yeah? no hang on, hang on. Wait, listen, yeah. I'm not going to... Uh, uh, th th this is fine. It's very yeah. easy for you to turn up once a week yeah. and then uh, uh, try to hold me accountable for everything. You're not there for the other seven days. Yeah. Right? So I know what I'm doing, but this is building work and it is dependent on various other things and there yeah. are variables in this yeah now i can you want to check the uh, list of uh, emails etc i'll be happy to uh, send them i'll print them out and i'll send them no, over no, to no, you it's, guys. It's, no it's, you have to no, no, because no. you have a right to know no but i but know but i think the, the is, point is that i saw you doing that phone call tuesday afternoon just yeah. now okay yeah. in front of me yeah, yeah. when I was expecting you to have solved it Monday or whatever, you know, to figure out what I had the conversation is. yesterday as well. Yeah. You can't, listen, yeah. the thing is... No, I, I saw an email today, this yeah. morning, mm -hmm. you said to me, uh, she's not in today, so we'll try and solve it tomorrow. That's what the email says. When is this? It's today. I've seen the email. Um, I think an hour and a half ago that I saw the email. I haven't seen the emails. I don't know the from morning. which date it is. I, I can't remember. This must be an older email. The okay. conversation that I had, let me uh, uh, yeah. uh, tell you. Last Thursday and f Friday's conversation was yeah. then Brent Witherspoon on Thursday when, uh, uh, I uh, spoke to him. Then on Friday he was out of the office. He was up in Birmingham someplace. I think yeah. you, you will recall that. Because you told me in the, in the <coughs> video last week, it says that, you know, we've sent it out. They've had two days and uh, then now they want yeah. to have a conversation and they said that they will send it on Monday. Monday, Monday yeah. morning they have booked a conversation with this lady, yes. Gemma, because she was not in. Or and they haven't done, they, they're, not, they're still not resolved it. They just, just spoke to them. Yeah. They had the conversation, it's still not resolved. Right. So what do you do about that? It's not, all I can do is logistically chase. Yeah. But if they haven't agreed something, what do you do about it? Yeah. Remember, these are the same people that we waited seven months on the solution for the roof. Yeah. And we, once you're committed to them, you can't do anything about it. I can't go and start the anyway, process somewhere it's, else. It's, it's having a huge impact you know, on everything. Of course it is. Yeah. But <laughs> okay, so no. let's carry on with the other things just to, to see what else has been done. We've well, seen. the work we, we can do, look upstairs. The yeah. place has been skimmed. The upper floor right. has been skimmed. Well, we need to go upstairs yeah. then. Let's let's quickly do it because I, I'm i fasting. Make this way. I've if, got you, if you make your way upstairs, I'll see you upstairs. Yeah. Wait a minute. So let's, let's, let's start with this thing here. So we've got um, skimming uh, of the plaster being done here, on the roof it's been done and uh, the room is almost finished. Um, on the left, right, so we come into the, um, this is this is the uh, dressing room, yeah, <coughs> and that's also being done in so far as we can see, um, just see if I can get the torch. Yeah, this we can see partly done and there also done. The roof is also done. And then we're now waiting for the um, boxing of this thing plus um, plumbing I guess before we can start on this part here well, the roof is almost done has done small areas here this main wall, big wall here is going to be done that wall is not going to be opened up and it's, just, it's, it's done this wall because it's going to be boxed first and yeah. because the plumber needs access to this that's why that's not done here it's not done because you've got to put a 
the door is, is the pocket door here. That's why this that comes with the entire mechanism, and then, then that will be done. But we can't do that until the bathroom is fitted. It's so small, it's going to damage the walls. Yeah. So we'll put that in after they've got the big, big stuff, plumbing, etc. done. Yeah. And it's just the furniture needs to be hung. Then we'll put that, put this up. So let's just give them working space. That's it. Here you can see the hardy vacuum is already on, and the, and the marine uh, uh, board. Here's the hardy vacuum yeah. for, for where the, where the uh, uh, shower is going to be. Okay. And uh, this is just the marine uh, uh, board, which is for moisture resistant, etc. That you put in the shower. Right. And this, and, and this is going to be tiled straight on. Okay. You don't need to skim this. So this is all pretty much done. Yeah. Um, Wednesday, the stuff is arriving tomorrow. The plumbing stuff is arriving tomorrow. It was supposed to be arriving today, but the, the, the courier company had some problem, so it's been put, put up for tomorrow. Okay. It is all ready. And that's why the, the shower is going to come up. They will drill the hole for the uh, sump, etc., etc. The, uh, the other pipe work is ready, etc. So the, the plumbers will start the, yeah. on it. And the ceiling, as you can see, after? Yeah. the ceiling is all done. Yeah. So essentially, all 90% of the steam work up here is done. All we obviously will all be done in one go once this they got so much stand. But the dotting down and everything else they can do is, is done. Okay. Do you wanna we go down and then yeah, be yeah. careful when you go down? Yeah. These are two still pictures showing the work done that you can see. The plaster is drying. Um, illustrating what we've just seen. Very little change in the back. There's no change at all at the bottom there. Um, therefore, we can just leave it as it is. Okay. You know? Yeah. Okay. The, as I said, one of the issues was the drainage. The drainage is not a major because that's under control. Because in the sense that we've done everything, we're just waiting for a date for them to uh, uh, Thames Water to come and do the drainage, and that would be that. The upstairs, we're somewhat going around in circles with these people again. Yeah. My email, which is sent out right from day one, was that we have this limitation because of the sedum roof. We have 3.1 meter by 4.8 meters, and I sent it out to so many different companies and said, "Can you give us a solution for this?" Obviously, the problem is that we the, the requirement wants solar, uh, solar solar panels we don't have enough space so we're looking for alternatives or some mix and match um, uh, arrangement so then uh, 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 this company Chelmer who do the entire system did this they gave us a report we sent it to the Koch uh, consultants um, uh, uh, um, a yeah, and they came program. with the one. They said that no, it's one point three six, and we said okay, fine. So, so we'll try let's to move to from Can't, from then to now. What yeah, has well, happened? Yeah, no, because was, I'm still being asked the question, what's going on? So I'm, I'm reiterating for that. So where do we move on to? Move on to where we're trying to achieve this two uh, kilowatt system, right? But the problem uh, with the uh, two uh, kilowatt system is it doesn't work with the thermal tubes. It just doesn't work. You can't just add on more thermal tubes. It, 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 you know, you'll produce a lot of water, but the, the, the quantity of water will be huge, but the uh, temperature differential is not sufficient. So, then they talked to, just yesterday, because they had this conversation with Gemma uh, on, on Monday, and in the evening, he, about four or five o'clock, I spoke with Brent with a spoon, and he said that, look, what about, have you got space for a, a heat source pump, which is a, a system of a, extracting uh, heat energy from the uh, ambient air, outside external ambient air. So we, th we couldn't put it in the roof, normally goes in the roof, we don't can't put it in the roof. We discussed, I said that we can put it outside in the rear, uh, 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 at the bottom of the, uh, uh, the uh, in the uh, light well. So this was a solution he was going to discuss with uh, uh, Gemma McLaughlin today. He did that, but it, it, they're not seeing eye to eye on the figures, etc., etc. So I'm still unsure whether that's uh, um, um, uh, a possibility because she has said apparently what I've just this conversation I just had when uh, you you arrived was that she's adamant that she uh, that a solution can be had with PV panels. 
So we said that, okay, well, tell us what the solution is because the actual peop people who supplied the PV panels and installed them saying it doesn't work, it can't work. So she's got some solution for it. What is that solution? That was the nature of the conversation. So now, again, it's spreading on to the next day and we have, I don't know, I, I can't do anything. I can't get into their heads and try to uh, get them to do that. This guy, Brent Witherspoon, is very proactive and he is chasing them because obviously he wants to get the sale. And so he is chasing her to get the solution. I am also chasing her because my emails are being, you know, initiated all this. So we're waiting. It is a matter of days, but nevertheless, until I get that, I cannot give you an exact day or uh, a time for the pro for the program. It's dependent on the drainage. It's dependent on uh, the roof solution. Okay. Thanks. And they're doing working all around that light. Well, they've left that not done because that's where those cablings will run from the top to the bottom. Okay. So. And tomorrow they're going to close up this section over here as well to, uh, to make security because we're going to have expensive items in there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay.